Charlie Cushane here. If you'd like to see how I made this beautiful spoon case, watch this video and you'll find out. A look at our spoon collection. We've collected almost a hundred spoons, silver spoons from all over the country. And now it's time to make a display case, which is the reason for this sketch. This is going to be my display case. So let's get started. The first thing I'm doing is cutting the back of the case out of a piece of MDF to size. Next, I'm cutting four dados on one side of the back so that it will hold the uh, metal bars that will hold the spoons with magnets. Here I'm cutting the pieces of red oak that will form the box of the display case. How do you clean a saw when you're outside? With the leaf blower, of course. Now that the oak is cut to size, I'm putting um, several dados in the oak to um, support the back um, and the grooves for the glass. Here, I'm putting a very shallow groove in the piece of oak and this will be where I will attach the lights and it will aim it toward the center of the display case. Now that all the boards are cut and dado, it's time to give them all a good sanding. Perfect! Time to give the MDF backer board multiple coats of polyurethane. Here I'm applying some self-adhesive green felt to the backer board of the display case. And this was a very slow, time-consuming process, getting everything lined up perfect and stuck down with no wrinkles. Um, but it came out great.
Perfect. All right, I gotta chisel, chisel out a little of this corner. That's the transition when I run my lights around this surface. So I have to do that in all four spots. By chiseling out the corner, as you can see, I will now be able to run the LED lights right around the corner. The lights will run right here, across that chiseled part, and then this way. Perfect. Okay, here I'm adding trim that'll block stray light from the LEDs. It's mounted here. There we go. That's two pieces in, two more to go. All right, what you're seeing, this is gonna go on the back of the display case and there'll be a bolt, here's 16 inches. There'll be a bolt going into the wall with the head on it and it's gonna, the display case is gonna rest on this. Now, if you wanna get it level, you can slide it one way or the other on these ramps and it's designed so if you slid it all the way over to here this bolt won't come off the edge it'll stay on so that's what this hump in the middle is for so it's designed to keep this if you slid it too far it would never come off and you can slide it one way or the other on these ramps and it'll level the display case time to install this hanger to the top inside back of the display case. There we go. And that's what it'll hang from. Okay, now time to stain. There we go. Beautiful. Time to put multiple coats of polyurethane on all the oak pieces. Okay, after I've put a coat of polyurethane on and um, sanded it all down with 800 grit sandpaper, now you use your tech cloth. It's really sticky. And take off all the dust, all the remaining dust, before you put another coat on. Here I'm applying construction adhesive to the groove where the backer board will be installed. Okay, time to put the tracks in there to hold the actual glass. Perfect. Now to do the other side. Okay. Loctite power grab.
There. Perfect. Okay, time to unclamp all this and give it a coat of paint. Here we go. All right, that's the first of three coats. Okay, time to install these metal bars I painted. I think I'll do two at a time. Okay, now it's time to install the lights. And the lights are going to get stuck right under this edge here. So let's put them on. There we go. That looks great. That'll be perfect. Okay, it's time to stain my pieces of decorative trim. Here we go. Before and after. Beautiful. Now to put multiple coats of polyurethane on these decorative trim pieces. I had the two pieces of glass custom made at a local glass shop and at the same time had them bevel all the edges so they're nice and smooth and they would slide easy in the case. Perfect. Adding the trim pieces to the edges of the display case was a slow process of getting everything aligned and glued on just perfectly and then getting it all clamped. Okay, the way we're going to hold these spoons in the spoon case is with magnets and I bought these neodymium magnets that you see here and they're very tiny. As you can see, each magnet is very small. And the reason it's small is so that it will fit behind a spoon. As you see right there, there's the magnet. And it fits nicely behind the thin neck of each spoon. Now most of these spoons are plated steel so that the magnet just sticks to it. However, there are some that are like this, pewter, that the magnet won't stick to. So I'm going to have to use some super glue to hold it on. What you need is a little dab. Like that small little dab and just drop the magnet on there we go okay it's time to fill the spoon case 
slide it open. Now I take all these spoons that have magnets on them and I just stick them on the bar. Put them all up there. The reason I'm using magnets instead of a traditional piece of wood with a slot and a hole is this is a very flexible system. It allows me to change the spacing between the spoons, add more spoons as we continue to travel, and it just makes it a much easier way to display all the spoons. There we go. All filled. So here it is. All full. Lots of spoons. Just over 80. And there's the entire case. With the trim on it and everything. Came out fantastic.